Okay, I'm back. And uh, we're going to do the uh, Georgia race. Now the governor ra the governor's race between, um, let's see, Stacey Abrams, who is the uh, Justice Democrat, and Brian Kemp, who I believe is the Secretary of State. Um, there is some problems. Brian Kemp is in charge of uh, things like voter registration and such, and uh, they say that he's holding uh, some, uh, I think it's 30,000 voter registration uh, uh, applications that he's not doing anything with, and he's, he's uh, trying to, um, you know, stack the deck in his favor. Uh, of those 30,000, 70% um, of them are black. Dave C. Abrams is herself black, and um, so so there's definitely some um, voter suppression going on in uh, in Georgia. But let's see if that makes any difference, and let's see if it comes up in the cards. So uh, I'm going to do what I did with the Florida race. I'm going to do three cards, past, present, future, on each of the candidates, and I'm going to bring this down. That, that sound you hear is my, my dog walking around because she can't decide what she wants to do. If she wants to go upstairs or if she wants to stay here and make noise for her mother. That's Gretchen. Okay, so here we have our, our red pen. <laughs> make sure I can see that you can actually see this. We have our red pen for the Republicans and our blue pens for the Democrats. Go do something else. Go, go. Go ahead, go. I'm sorry about that. Okay. So, um, let's pick three cards for uh, Stacey Abrams. Ladies first. Past, present, future. Okay. And three cards for uh, Mr. Kemp, Brian Kemp. Past, present, and future. Okay. So this is Stacy. Past. It's the uh, six of wands. Present. The five of pentacles. And the three of cups. And this is Brian Kemp. Okay. The high priestess. The knight of swords. And the Queen of Cups. Hmm. Okay, so what I see here is uh, let's just do this so we can sort of see, have a little better view here. So in the past, we have um, the card of victory. Um, that's interesting. She would get the card of victory in the past. Perhaps this was her primary, her primary victory, and uh, she's examining how uh, how she was victorious. Okay, so there's so there's a positive energy in the past. In the present moment, we have the five of pentacles. Uh, she is, has her hand on the gate. Um, she, the angel is about ready to unmask her. Um, this is she is she is moving forward on on faith in this in this um, we have this beautiful like sky in the background it's almost as if it's a sky after a storm um, and so um, she is she is still moving forward even though she can't necessarily see where she's going or if she's going to be successful, which of course you would expect from a candidate because that's, you know, how it is. And then we have the Three of Cups, and the Three of Cups is the celebration card. And so uh, that looks good for her. Now, let's look at Kemp. And what's interesting about Kemp is that he's surrounded <laughs> by women here. Uh, we have the High Priestess here in the past. The High Priestess is uh, often about things that are hidden, 
uh, things that are secret. So there, he has secrets in his past. Uh, the the present moment is the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is somebody who takes actions, with not necessarily with with. Um, not necessarily thinking before they act. They can create a lot of chaos. Um, there's a sense of, with this card, there's a sense of um, it doesn't matter what I do because I'm right kind of energy. And so uh, this man can create a lot of uh, a lot of chaos, hurt a lot of people in his fervor to do what he thinks that he, he is destined to do. Um, it's a very different energy from this five of pentacles over here. And then we have the outcome card. This outcome card, this queen of pentacles keeps coming up. And to me, it has to do with the woman's movement and the emotional, perhaps the emotional toll that, um, uh, I know I'm mixing medias here a little bit, but this, I believe, is the emotional toll that was taken uh, by the Kavanaugh, um, the Kavanaugh stuff. So I do feel like, um, of these two, I feel like uh, Stacy has a better chance of winning. She has sort of the celebration victory card uh, here, even though at the moment it's as if um, she's not, uh, there's a lot of action with, with Brian, but not hers is much more careful. She has to be careful where she steps because she can't really see um, where she's going. I think she doesn't, you know, uh, having all those voter registrations that are just sitting there fallow, um, you know, that's, that's, a, that's a wild card. And yet there's still enough people um, in Georgia to... Uh, uh, to put her in in the seat. It would be very interesting to see. It would be interesting if a black woman gets Georgia and a black man gets uh, Florida. Perhaps things are changing. So that's what I think. I think from these cards anyway, as it stands today, on the uh, 11th of October, it looks like um, Stacy Stacy Abrams. Let's look at the bottom of the deck and see what we have here. Um... So this is the card of money, uh, money and power. Uh, but I feel as though I feel as though there's this sense that if you have enough money, you can win. But I'm not sure that's what's going to pan out. But th but. Um, this guy is well funded and I believe Stacy is probably going to get more money now that they know what's going on with the voter registration stuff. So there's perhaps still money to be had for both candidates. Um, but it's not, I don't feel like money is going to win the day. I feel like um, just working, working hard is going to win the day. And we'll see what happens. Okay. All right, um, I'll be back to do a couple of Senate uh, races. Um, I may do that now, I may do that a little later, I may do that tomorrow, so. All right, let me come back to where I was. Oh, hi, it's me. <laughs> All right, so, looks like um, Stacey Abrams. I hope so. <laughs> I'm trying to be as, as nonpartisan as I can be. All right. Have a great night. I'll see you again uh, on the next one. Bye.